Here's the dashboard or the landing page that employees within financial institutions would see when they log in. This is a single source cloud native SaaS, similar to a Salesforce environment. We are all running on the same version or update of Mambu. Mambu also manages the entire stack. Therefore, to access this, all you need is a browser, internet connection, and your credentials. While none of this data is real, this is a live sandbox environment. Everything on this dashboard is configurable to the employee's liking. Depending on the position within the institution, some of the information may not be accessible. Since I have full administrative access in the sandbox environment, I am able to see everything. We can see the latest activity for all the branches, or you can change it to individual branches up here and see an individual branch. This would show new customers added, new products created, recent deposits made, and so on. I also have a snapshot of my bank indicators down here in the bottom right, where we can see real-time information on clients and financials. Along the top, we can quickly access through tabs, clients, groups, loans, deposits, and then also products. Something important within Mambu is our 200 plus customers in six different continents have configured over 6,000 products on our platform, impacting over 20 million end users. That being said, when an institution creates a product, it is only available to them. It is not available to other institutions on the platform. Here is also an all-inclusive search bar which acts similar to a quick Google search within your organization. We notice on our dashboard in the top right that we have a task due today, so we'll see what it is. We are going to create a completely new loan product that will fit the parameters the government provided for the PPP loan. Now these were provided at the last minute, unfortunately, by the U.S. government, but Mambu is a cloud-native SaaS, so we're able to quickly create the product and will not be impacted by the high volume. Let's get started. Let's close this task, and we will go to Administration, Products, and then we're going to create a new product. We will call this the PPP Loan 2-Year ID PPP loan two. The reason we use the underscores for the ID is because it is API friendly for developers within financial institutions. We're going to mark it as active and then for product type we're going to do dynamic turn loan so it will change if the person is paying on time and whether the account is kept current. Next we're going to go to product availability. We're going to uncheck clients and select groups and businesses because this loan is for businesses only. We'll go down to the loan amount. Now there are no parameters on the loan amount. However, the most common loan was for 100,000. So we'll type that in. And then we'll move down to the interest rate. The interest type will be a simple interest and the default will be 1%, the minimum will be 1%, and the max will be 1%. As this was the interest rate issued by the US government, we will make sure that nobody can go in and make the mistake by setting the wrong interest rate. Now to repayment scheduling, which we will set 24 months for two years as a default, the minimum, and the max. This is to ensure that no one can go in and enter the wrong constraints. Now to repayment scheduling. The installment constraints will be 24 months as this is a two year PPP loan. This ensures that no one can enter the wrong constraints. The government did provide a pure grace period. So we'll select pure grace period. Uh, for six months, there is no principal or interest payments. So we will select six as default the minimum and the max. Lastly, for repayment scheduling editing, we will check all the boxes. We're gonna take a look at product fees. We're not gonna to select to allow any arbitrary fees because there are no fees associated with this loan. From here, we are now going to save this product. And there it shows up, PPP loan two year. Now we will quickly copy the PPP loan two year to a PPP loan five year, as those are the two different terms issued by the US government. 
So we will copy the product. We will delete copy, change the loan to five year, change the ID for the developers, click it to active. Then we will go down and we will change the constraints from 24 month, two year to five year, 60 month. Then we will save the product. And just like that, it quickly shows up and it's ready to be used in the market. In less than five minutes, we created two loan products within the parameters set by the government for the PPP loan. 